What's up everyone, Matthew Monis here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the best Windows laptop you can buy. Now when I mean best laptop, I don't mean best gaming laptop or best laptop for school. I mean the best all around laptop that you can pretty much fill any niche with and do it fairly well. So in order for this to happen, it needs to meet certain criteria. First, it must be well built and small enough to travel with. Number two, it has to have good enough performance to game, edit video, or do most professional work. Three, it has to have a really good display. And four, it has to have good battery life. Now, with that being said, my choice is the Dell XPS 15, and I'm gonna tell you why. The design is exactly the same as last year's model that had the 960M. It's still made out of all metal and in between is a carbon fiber deck. If you're expecting a redesign and you wanted one, you can always slap on a dbrand skin like this one and really change the way things look. It's a really well built laptop with a strong stiff hinge, very little screen flex and you now have the option to get it with a fingerprint scanner. It's portable enough to take anywhere and Dell has crammed a 15 inch display into a form factor that resembles most 14 inch laptops. It only weighs 4.5 pounds, so it's not as light as an Ultrabook, but lighter than most other 15 inch laptops with dedicated GPUs. The port selection is fair with a power connector, one USB 3.0 port, an HDMI port, one Thunderbolt 3 port, and an audio jack. On the right, there's a power indicator, another USB 3.0 port, and an SD card slot. So basically enough ports to hook up a mouse, one external drive, and a monitor. The XPS 15 has two RAM slots capable of holding up to 32 gigabytes. So even if you purchase it with eight or 16, you can upgrade it down the road. The same holds true for the M2 MVME SSD. This one in here is made by Toshiba. It's a little better than the Samsung 950 that they used last year, but still not nearly as fast as the 960 Pro. Also, if you opt for the full HD model instead of the 4K display, you get a smaller battery and the option to buy it with a 2.5 inch hard drive. So with portability and design out of the way, the best laptop has to have an amazing display. The XPS 15 nails it with a near bezel-less design, it's their infinity edge display, and whether you opt for the Full HD model or the 4K touch display, which I happen to have here, you won't be disappointed. Viewing angles are great, there's lots of contrast, and because the colors are so accurate, it's perfect for professionals who edit video or do photography work. Now, I know the webcam is not in the best position, but it had to be done in order to accommodate the small bezels. The keyboard has the same setup as last year, so not much has changed. It's not my favorite keyboard. The travel distance is a bit too short at 1.2 millimeters and the keys a bit too soft. But for those wondering if it's uncomfortable to type on, it's not. You get used to it pretty quickly, but I think Dell can do a better job by redesigning the key switches to provide better feedback. Now, minor complaint aside, the touchpad below it is absolutely awesome. It's glass, it's accurate, it has good click response, and it's probably one of the best touchpads I've used on a Windows laptop. Audio is good for having speakers placed underneath. It gets quite loud with nice highs, mids, and there's a tiny bit of bass. Obviously, I'd prefer them to be forward facing, but the thin design limits its placement. Now you can spec the XPS 15 with the latest KB Lake processors. My unit has an i7 7700HQ and a GTX 1050. This means it's more than capable of editing 4K video, using Photoshop, and working in Microsoft Office. Gaming is good to go, it can handle the majority of titles just fine at 1080p with settings set to medium. For example, in Overwatch I was able to get frame rates of 55 frames per second with settings set to high, but if you drop it to medium you can easily bump that up to 65 to 70. In Battlefield 1 multiplayer, I was getting frame rates of 55 frames per second at 1080p with settings set to medium. Finally, with Heroes of the Storm, a slightly older title, I was getting frame rates of 55 with a mix of medium and high settings. So heat management wasn't the greatest on this laptop. I was getting temperatures of 45 to 48 degrees Celsius. That's quite hot, so there was obviously some thermal throttling. Now, I wouldn't worry about it too much when I was gaming or editing video. It didn't throttle, but something to make note of if you use any long-term CPU intensive tasks. Noise under idle is fine, it's pretty quiet, but under full load, the fans are noticeable, but not loud enough to be overbearing. And last, battery life. This has a 4K display, quad-core CPU, and a beefy GPU. The battery size had to be increased to 97 watt hours. With that, I was able to use this laptop for around 7.5 hours before needing a charge. All right, here's my closing thoughts. The Dell XPS 15 manages to almost nail everything right. It's super portable, 
has a nice design, has good battery life, great touchpad, and a gorgeous display. But it does have its flaws like a decent keyboard and not the best thermal management. With that being said, it's still the best complete package for someone who's looking for a laptop that can do everything fairly well. Well, at least for now. So the only other laptops that I feel come close are the Asus ZenBook Pro and the new Razer Blade. The reason why I didn't recommend the ZenBook Pro is because its refresh model is not available yet and the Razer Blade is fairly expensive. I personally feel you get much more value for the money out of the XPS 15. So that's my favorite laptop on the market right now. I want to hear your favorite laptop in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.